29 minutes later, the North Tower follows suit, collapsing in approximately 10 seconds. Later that evening at 5.20, World Trade Center 7, a 47-story office building 300 feet away from the North Tower, suddenly collapses. The building's tenants included the CIA, Department of Defense, IRS, Secret Service, and Rudy Giuliani's emergency bunker. And the SEC was using it to store three to 4,000 files related to numerous Wall Street investigations. Although every single building surrounding Building 7 stood intact, it fell straight down into a convenient little pile in six seconds. Official explanation? Falling debris from the Twin Towers created an internal fire, which ignited several fuel tanks inside the building. If this is true, then it would be the third building in history to collapse because of a fire. The first two would be the Twin Towers. On July 28, 1945, a B-52 bomber lost in the fog crashed into the 79th floor of the Empire State Building. 14 people dead, $1 million in damage but the building stands intact to this day. On February 14, 1975, a three-alarm fire broke out between the 9th and 14th floors of the North Tower. According to the New York Times, the fire leads to intense scrutiny of the towers and eventually to a decision to install sprinklers. On May 4, 1988, a 62-story skyscraper in Los Angeles burned for three hours and spread over four floors. It did not collapse. On February 23, 1991, a 38-story skyscraper in Philadelphia, built in 1973, burned for more than 19 hours and spread over eight floors. It did not collapse. On October 17, 2004, a 56-story skyscraper in Venezuela, built in 1976, burned for over 17 hours and spread over 26 floors, eventually reaching the roof. Guess what? It did not collapse. On February 12, 2005, the Windsor Building in Madrid, a 32-story tower framed in steel-reinforced concrete, burned for almost 24 hours, completely eradicating the upper 10 stories of the building. Although the top 10 floors of the building fell, the building itself did not collapse. And yet, on September 11, 2001, two 110-story skyscrapers, completed in 1973, burned for 56 and 103 minutes, respectively, over four floors, before collapsing completely to the ground. One might argue that this was due to the construction of the World Trade Center. Let's look at what was inside those buildings. The Twin Towers were composed of 200,000 tons of steel, 425,000 cubic yards of concrete, 103 elevators, 43,600 windows, 60,000 tons of cooling equipment, and a 360-foot television antenna. The core of each tower was 87 by 133 feet, comprised of 47 box columns 36 by 16 inches thick. The North Tower was completed in 1970, standing 1,368 feet tall, and the South Tower was completed in 1973, clocking in at 1,362 feet tall making them the tallest buildings in the world until the Sears Tower was completed in 1974. And to think, the government would have us...